Yeah. New guitar. <laughs> well, I, I, I have to rotate them. Gerald. Yeah, that's really them. good. That one. Yeah, thank you. Right, yeah. As keep I'm playing. here. Huh? Ah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, keep playing. So here I am in, in Oxford city centre, where I live, and um, I'm with an old friend here called Johnny Hinks, who's actually uh, a busker on the streets. And we're just going to ask him a little bit about what he does and why it's interesting and why you should do it as well. Um, how long have you been uh, busking in Oxford? I, th I think I've started busking about 30 years ago. I, I started in London, but I guess, yeah, th say 30 years, had a couple of breaks. I mean, breaks yeah. where I didn't do it, yeah. not lucky breaks. <laughs> so but, tell me, yeah, I mean, that's obviously a long time, so you obviously get is, yeah. quite a lot out of it. I mean, I, I know, you know, you can make quite a lot of money busking, but it's not really why people do it, is it? Well, sometimes you do, and sometimes you make a lot of money, and sometimes you make a little money. It's, yeah. it's very erratic and unpredictable. So what's the attraction for you? It's really very simple. I, I'm not really any good at anything else. And I mean, I mean, apart from playing the guitar, which is all I ever really wanted to do and all yeah. I ever really have done, and I just found that I can get by and make a bit of money by doing this. I don't know what else I would do. I'm kind of pretty unemployable. Well, otherwise, you're, you're, you're a very, very good guitarist. Well, it's very kind of you to say and, so. And, you know, and I, I won't always enjoy you. it when I when I see you in the street. So I'm just wondering, have you ever tried get, getting any other kind of work playing? Yeah. Yeah, what, what I've, I've done that. I mean, I've played in bands and yeah. I've, I do a bit of teaching. I've uh, done a few sessions, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you I do sessions? I've done a few session sessions. Together, I've done a session with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm getting over it slowly. <laughs> um, and um, But this is this is the best gig, really. I, I, it's, you can't beat it. I mean, sometimes it's hard work, but most of the yeah. time it's, it's just it's fun. People appreciate it. Well, I'm at home by five. You know, so, so you yeah. say people appreciate it. Well, well, people do, yeah. yeah. I mean, one of the things I find about um, busking is that, uh, you know, people show their appreciation in a real way by giving you the money, stumping up the cash. This is, well, money money is a, is a symbol of value, isn't it? Yeah. So that's how we, we, we do lots of things with money. But, but what I mean is it, it's... We buy food it, with money. <laughs> You get immediate um, yes. uh, uh, approval yes. uh, because it's, you know it's direct. Uh, it's really direct, yeah. like that. I, I know some yeah. classical musicians who would love to do busking, but I, I think they might be a little bit worried about you know what they could do and how how um, how they feel being on the street. How do you, how do you actually feel just coming out and playing to a load of people? Well. I, I, tell, I run the gamut of emotions from A to B. Yes. Um, when I feel all sorts of things. I mean, it's really, there's loads of people and there's, there's a lot going on. There's, sorry, mate. Oh, <laughs> um, but, um, hang on a minute. Yeah. Put on pause. That's I, right. I rearrange the turn. <laughs> I, that's what, when I'm not doing this, I rearrange the turn. Yeah. I like to think it keeps me sane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What was I saying? Yeah, so, um... There's so many people, thousands and thousands of people, yeah. and every one of them, they're looking out of their eyes, like, the same way I'm looking out of my eyes yeah. and experiencing their life, so, it's like, after I've been here for a few hours, it's quite nice to go home and sit down and listen to Radio 4 and have a cup of tea, because yeah. it's, there's a lot going on. So I feel all sorts of things. I feel, you know, I feel 
happy if someone makes someone smile. Or yeah. Feel miserable if I've upset someone. It's, it's pretty full on. Yeah. Oh, but you can, or you know, you can get involved. Or because I play stuff I know off by heart, I can switch off if I want, if I need yeah. to. I'm just, you just manage it like life, really. So tell me about the practicalities of busking. I mean, for instance, you have to have a license, don't you? Well, the, it's different in different towns. The yeah. practicalities in Oxford is there is there is a system. There are yeah. guidelines. And there are quite a few regular, shall we say, buskers yeah. who I know and we generally all kind of follow the guidelines and some people don't follow the guidelines because <laughs> they don't believe in that sort of thing and that's right. great but it kind of doesn't really work in yeah. Oxford because it's such a small place but you work, you know, for example, our friends here today, they're, they're, they're free spirits. Yes, the gypsies. Free, they're free agents yeah. so, and, and God bless them, well, we just have to work around them, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I used to busk in a, in a group in Covent Garden. We had to have a license there as well. Yeah. And uh, the most we ever made was 350 quid in the old days, which is... Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. lot and I mean, other people, they make more than that. I mean, that's not... A, you know, some, yeah. some people know how to do it better. Yeah. I just sit and play tunes. Yeah. I'm not like some people that know how to get a crowd and, well, and they, 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 they'd be upset if they made less than this grand, but... Wow. Yeah. But it evens out. I get. I make enough to live. So would you say? Um, would you ad advise any musician that this is a, a career choice? No, <laughs> no, of course no. not. Well, but it could I be. Really, because, well, it could be. But who knows? It, it's very. Um, it's not just about money, is it? As you say, it is about actually being free and enjoying what you're doing and seeing the way people react to you instantly. Yeah, I suppose I don't really think about it as much as other people do. No. I mean, well. I mean, most uh, every year, not to. Put you down in any way but yeah. there's usually some freshers who've got a project and they thought wouldn't it be a good idea to do a project on the buskers because yeah. they're all up <laughs> and i i don't know like i say i've, I've, I've got to make some money i was sure. i was in the benefits trap yeah. i was a single parent with two children and that yeah. is such a trap and i got out of it well done yeah because i can i can earn some money yeah, doing out it. here doing what what i like doing so, so, so tell me, in, what else do you do? I mean, what, you've, got, you've got a little uh, party group, have you, uh, playing? The Honolulu Cowboys. Honolulu we, Cowboys. We do a Hawaiian tea dance once a month. Yeah. And it's family friendly. And it kind of originally, I had to figure out a gig because yeah. I was looking after my grandson quite a lot. So it had yeah. to be a gig, not too late, not surrounded by drunkards. Yeah. No offence yeah. to drunkards. No. <laughs> Some of my best friends are drunk, yeah. um, and not <laughs> finished too late. So we, we do this tea dance, and it's it's, it's quite popular. It's, it's fun. And, I mean, and, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting on a bit. Now. Well, yeah. I mean, so have one of them. Um, um, well, no, not, what about, not while I'm being interviewed, sir. What about what? What just, about just don't um, eat them all. this one you're telling me about? Uh, you're, you're being you. Um, involved with the singer now aren't you tell me a little bit about that oh yeah bonnie she's amazing um she's um i think she started singing from about the age of seven and she's just really serious about it yeah. it's, it's not like being pushed by mum or anything like that yeah and she's got the most beautiful voice she makes men cry when she sings or sing it so how did this come did. about how did you meet her well i'm a friend of the family yeah. I'm a friend of the family and i kind of well, I got her to come along to the tea dance, yeah. it, just so she'd have a, a little opportunity to, um, to have an audience to sing to and give us something to go going on while we have and, and a tea And what break. sort of things to do? What she does, what does she do? Oh, she does um, um, Bird's Lament with Richard yeah. Rodney Bennett. Wow, yeah. yeah. That's, when I heard her singing that, and then, because she had a backing track, and then when they said, we'd really like you to do, to yeah. back her, and I yeah. thought, well, yeah, I'd really like to... Fantastic. Find out how that tune works because that's amazing. So you accompany her on, on so the guitar. So I've been accompanying her on that. Oh, and yeah. and, um, and what's that one? Um, yeah. A lot of classical stuff. Yeah. She wants to do opera, but um, I think her teachers are saying, like, you're too young to do opera, because like, you've got to be careful. It takes time for your voice to develop. Yeah, because it? it's yeah. quite a strain kind of thing. Yeah, and but we've been singing Mr. Tambourine Man at, yeah. at Ray's book launch for the, for the Bob Dylan book. Great. And it's been, yeah, going Tell down me well. about Ray's book. Who's Ray? Ray Falk is one of the yeah. Falk brothers who put on the Isle of Wight festivals. Right. Who and brought they brought Bob Dylan over. Oh, right. Yeah. It was the same time. as It's really, it's a great book, i got to say. And um, they... 
it was the same time as Woodstock, and yeah. Woodstock was all about these people were trying to get Dylan to come out of retirement, yeah. so they actually put on this festival wow. near where he lived yeah. to try and bit. But then at the same time, the Felt brothers were trying to get him to come over to the Isle of Wight, and they offered him a holiday, and he yeah. just kind of. It just looks kind of interesting for him, <laughs> and he came out, and of course nobody, because he had he'd had a motorbike accident, yeah. and no one had known he hadn't played for three years, and no, right. and because he'd already done his electric thing, yeah. but and, and when he came onto the Isle of Wight, he had a white suit on, and he was kind of like a crooner, wow. and and um, yeah, I mean I, I learned I didn't know so much about it, but I, I, after reading this book, what's so, the book called? It's called Stealing Dylan from Woodstock. And when when is it it's coming out? out? It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's, it's, so it's, 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 be, it's being launched. Yeah, it should be in the shop. I don't know who it's published by. That's fantastic. So, uh, yeah. Um, so uh, you know you know Ray quite well then, Ray Fox. Well, I've, I've, I've yeah. sort of yeah, he's been around Jericho for ages. So. Well, any any message or advice would you give to any budding buskers out there? <sighs> oh, don't get <laughs> don't get upset about stuff. <laughs> yeah, because that's good. Because uh, don't get upset about people taking your photograph and not giving you any money. Don't get upset about people being twats. Yeah. Because otherwise you're just going to be in a bad mood all day. I've been there, I've been there, I've been, I've, I've, I've been the shouter. Yeah. No, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. <laughs> but it's kind of, you have a heart attack. Man. So just, just try and, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. You never know who's, just never know who's coming around the corner. That's true. You never know who's coming around the corner. You sit there playing and nothing happens and nothing happens and nothing happens. And you're just about to give up and you get a twenty pound note in a gig. So you just yeah. you, you know, I get quite a few wedding gigs actually. Well that's But they don't always they don't always hold out. Yeah. <laughs> I've had quite a few wedding gigs that have yeah. been cancelled because the wedding's been cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You only pencil it in, don't you, till a week before. Okay, well, thanks a lot for your time, Johnny. And uh, thank I'll, you for, I'll check out your blog. Doing, I'm, I'm sure everyone will be really I'll, interested. I'll link it to my you. website. Yeah, you will. And I, I will. I, I've got I've got a little clip of you playing as well. So oh, I'll, yeah, okay. I'll, that's all right. Oh, um, yeah, brilliant. Okay. Right. Cheers. Yeah, thanks. See you soon. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll... Keep playing. Yeah, that'll be £30. <laughs>